today on an all-new Dr. Phil, a country music star's daughter. She has threatened to kill me, her mother, and then kill herself. Her devastating accusations. She thinks I've hit her, choked her. At 15, he leaned in for a French kiss. I pushed him away. Never happened. Against everyone in her family. You feel like your mother stole your son from you. Absolutely. I've lost my whole family. I have no one. You say she's a loose cannon. Oh, yes. Yeah. One minute you're fine, the next minute you're saying, I want to kill my family. Let's do it. Have a good show, everybody. Here we go. This is a safe place to talk about hard things. Stand by. We'll count you down. Today is going to be a changing day in your life. Five, four. I am not giving up on you. Our guest today, Jimmy, was the original drummer for one of my favorite bands and good friends, the legendary Brooks and Dunn. But when he gets home from playing gigs, his home life is far from harmonious. Now, he and his wife, Donna, claim it is around the clock, drugs, drinking, and drama with their 37-year-old daughter, Tia, who has accused her family of abuse, hacking into her devices, kidnapping, and even molestation. Take a look. Tia has been out of control for many years. Tia can be totally normal and flip the switch and just go to the dark side. You never know what to believe with Tia. I, I am accused of everything in the world, of doing stuff to my child that I have never done. She thinks I've hit her, I've pushed her around, I've put my hands on her and choked her. Never happened. She has made allegations that I molested her. She says that I tried to French kiss her when she was young. Never happened. That is not who I am. Things started going downhill for her when she turned 13 years old. It started with alcohol, moved on to the drugs. She chose to be around the bad boys and the bad people. Tia is a complete drama queen. She's always relied on her looks in a lot of ways because she's a beautiful girl. Tia believes her phone has been hacked. All her computers have been hacked. People are watching her all the time. She is completely paranoid. There's been no evidence of any of it. Things have gotten so bad that she has threatened to kill me, my wife, Donna, her mother, Gina, and then kill herself. She has a way of conniving and twisting everything around. Well, she's the victim, and you're the one that's bad. It's a loop of dysfunction. Ten years ago, she opened up a salon, had a very successful business, lost it all. My child is not going to live. The end is near. I go to bed with my phone every night, waiting for the phone call that she's gone. Stepmom Donna says that Tia is a lying drama queen who has told people that Donna used to lock her in the bedroom and even poured alcohol down her throat when she was a teen. Now, all not true, according to Donna. I came into Jimmy's life when Tia was about 12 years old. Tia was a brat with a horrible attitude. Tia was competitive with me for Jimmy's attention. The day that we got married, she begged her father not to marry me. When that didn't work, Tia's words to me were, I really hate that I am so much prettier than you on your wedding day. Tia has a very sick and demented mind. Tia calls me a step monster, bitch, a whore. When Tia gets aggressive and she gets in my face, she's in my face, like right up here, like right here in my face. For the last seven or eight years, she's made up lie after lie. She's accused me of pouring alcohol down her throat as a teenager. It is not true. Tia claims that people stalk her all the time and that they're watching her. The biggest story, Tia has been telling people that I used to lock her in the bedroom. She claims that I allowed her to be molested by anybody, everybody. It is completely outrageous. Tia spent almost a year in jail for her third DUI. She called me from jail, wanting me to bail her out. I am getting booked as a prisoner. This is not fair. 
at that time, jail was the best place for her to be. I am so sick of the lies and the drama. It needs to end. Your main concern is what? What do you think is going to happen? Are you afraid for her life? I'm afraid the end is near. And there have been some very serious allegations made against you in terms of molesting her and you in terms of imprisoning her and, and, right, yeah. and being abusive with her. And, you know, I, I wasn't there, so I can't say with 100% certainty what happened, but I can tell you that I find absolutely not one shred of evidence that any of that ever happened. It never I, happened. I, I at can't all. find one person other than her that says that it happened. Right. And you aren't alone. She accuses almost everybody that she encounters in her life of doing something to her right. in some way. Because you say she's a loose cannon. She manipulates oh, yes. the situation. Right. Very loose cannon. What is her motivation yeah. for this, do you suspect? I think a lot of it is just to maintain her victim, to, to be a victim. The personalities change. One day I'm, I love you daddy, a 13 year old child. Right. To attacking me. You say that she thinks you're on a mission to have her committed. Is that true? No. no. I just want help no. for my child. Well, maybe that is help. Maybe having well, her committed I mean, is help. But, right. but she's been in and out of places. Mm -hmm. They keep her a week. They keep her two weeks at the most and let her right back out. It goes right. right back. It's just a constant loop of dysfunction. It never straightens out. She'll ask for help, and then when we try to help her, nope, I don't need help. There's nothing and then, wrong. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm fine. I'm normal, just like you. Mm -hmm. And then a couple months down the road, she's back in a facility. Started around 13 years old. What else happened at 13? What was going on in her life at 13 that could, you, you don't know that it's a cause, but at least correlates in time with 13? Um, she came to live with us. She, uh -huh. we had um, got together and we had a child and Tia came. And so she didn't want to, I mean, she was only supposed to come for the summer. And then she ended up staying with us permanently. So I think a lot of it was just being with her sister and with her dad. And all of a sudden, everything was new. And, and she wasn't getting the attention that she wanted, like she used to get from being the baby. OK, listen. I, um... I tell you what, we're going to take a break here, and I was going to bring Tia out after the break, but we're not going to do that because I think that you guys are way under reading this situation. I think you're way underestimating the situation. So when we come back, we're going to talk about what I think is really going on here so we have a clear understanding, and then we're going to meet Tia. We'll be right back. You might be able to put her on a polygraph and she just flatline it on some of the things that she says that aren't true. They're real to her. She disowns us, so. Wouldn't you want to distance yourself from those toxic people? And later... I've lost my whole family, you guys. I have no one. You pushed us away. If I'm sitting at home saying I'm suicidal mm -hmm. because I want to see my child so bad, help me. There is nothing hotter than real, honest to goodness, love. Mama wanna tell you where it's at, I wanna get that. I was made for this. Get with it or get lost. You dropped the ball big time. I'm throwing y'all my very own Miami Yacht Park. It just shook up all of the dynamics. Y'all ready for this? People gonna talk in DC. They're claiming the Samuels are looking to divorce. Him and his dad are not speaking. Wait, 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 wait. Welcome. We're gonna be out on our own little island for peace. I'm gonna go before I whip your ass. Your sisterhood just went out the window. I'm back. Then all that. 
Again and again and again. Love and Marriage DC returns Saturday, January 21st at 8, 7 central. To Beth for telling us about Peptiva Nighttime Probiotics. To Beth. Beth. Welcome, ladies. You know, the best thing about Peptiva is that I can digest food like a kid again. No, the best thing is that I get to sleep like a kid again. Digestion. Digestion. Ladies, Please. with Peptiva, you get both. Peptiva is the first doctor-formulated probiotic that works at night with key ingredients backed by seven clinical studies. And right now, you can get a complimentary sample by texting CUBE to 369369. Peptiva works while you sleep to soothe indigestion, cramping, bloating, even constipation while promoting digestive health. And it has time-released melatonin to help you get the best sleep of your life. Okay, girls, what do we have next week? Tacos? Wings? Chili! <laughs> Peptiva is flying off the shelves at GNC, but you can only get your complimentary sample by texting CUBE to 369369. Text now and we'll include a box of Peptiva digestive enzymes to help your body digest meals and avoid occasional gas and discomfort absolutely free. That's C-U-B-E to 369369. Our worth is not given. It must be made. This is your chance. Our best shot. Surprise! This is gonna be one of the best days of our life! I kneel before no one. your chance. You keep her alive. Save her, you can save her. You come this far, and you know it's out there. You have a greater purpose than any of us could have ever imagined. Tia has now escalated to the next stage where she wants to kill me. I'm afraid of her. Tia hangs around with very sketchy people. She's unpredictable. People in that frame of mind will do anything. It's a slight suggestion. Hey, if I give you a hundred bucks, will you go get rid of my stepmom? I basically have to lock myself in my home. Okay, Tia calls Donna her step monster and says her father, Jimmy, is an abuser at many different levels. The problem is, when you take a careful history, that just doesn't seem to be what happened. Right. Um, and so, but why is this going on? And I think you're, you guys are looking at this like she can just be a little bitch and can really get annoying and... <laughs> I think that you're way underestimating oh, what's no, happening I think here. it's a lot more than that. And I, I want to explain, you've got to think about this. You, you have to think about behavior as being on a continuum. And population really does follow a, a bell curve where two thirds of the population functions in the middle here. Okay, this is what we call normal. And, but when you get outside of this, you got out, out into this area, then you have to start saying, you know, what are the causes here? And you can start looking out here at uh, whether you're dealing with mental illness, uh, whether you're dealing with some type of brain dysfunction, and the further out you go, then you can go from something here that might be considered neurotic or something that might be considered a personality disorder or something out here that might be uh, considered psychotic. Okay, the further you deflect out here, this is where you get into behaviors that you just don't explain by saying somebody's had a bad day. Right. Now, she started showing real unusual behavior about 13. Now, at 13, she also started doing alcohol and drugs. Exactly. And when you're in your teen years, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, all the way up, particularly in 17, 18, 19, your brain is actually pruning itself back. It's rewiring itself. And when you start doing drugs at this time, 
it disrupts all the wiring. The wiring's supposed to look like this, and then all of a sudden it looks like this. That's right. And since this young woman has been 13, she's never had a clean brain. At the age of 16, she did acid four times that she admits to at the age of 16. Right. She's been on cocaine and opiates and meth for a 12-year period. And you say, she's acting real unusual. Yeah. I'm not making excuses for her. No. But what I'm telling you is this just is not necessarily voluntary. Because what happens is you disrupt the neurotransmitters in the brain and she starts getting messages that might seem very real to her. You might be able to put her on a polygraph and she just flatline it on some of the things that she says that aren't true. They're real to her. Okay, then, but Every th single... you understand, if she believes this is true, yeah. then of course she would be indignant. Yeah. Of course she would be yeah. upset and, right. and think that everybody is, is out to get her. Yeah. And, and that you're and trying to put her true. away. And and that, yeah. Yeah, it's... She disowns us, so she disowns the family. It sounds for her mother and daddy. She doesn't Wouldn't have a mother. you, mother. if you believe what she believes? Well. Uh, if you believe what she believes, wouldn't you want to distance yourself from those toxic people? Right. It's exhausting. You it's have exhausting. a toxic brain here. Yeah. Right. That's what I'm telling you. And, Believe me, I know that. And I'm, I'm just, I'm telling you that she's going to come out here and I'm going to talk to her about this stuff. And uh, who knows what her response is going to be, but understand that this is entrenched into her brain. Yeah. Coming up, uh, Jimmy's daughter is here and says the family is out to make her look crazy. We're going to meet Tia. We're going to find out why she is so upset. We'll be right back. Well, my stepmother, Donna, is pure evil. My father and I have used cocaine together. When I was younger, he definitely looked at me like I was the epitome of sexy. At 15, he leaned in for a French kiss, so I pushed him away. And later, but within 24 hours, you're talking about murdering the whole family? But that's like under my breath. I'm like, God, I just want to kill her and then kill myself. I can't believe we're cleaning LeBron's place. LeBron who? James! How about we throw the party in the king's house? Hi. It's a white man. Oh, man, we going to jail. Is LeBron home? I was hoping to show him something. Yo, oh, man, yeah. whoa. Sign my jurors. He got a hologram of himself. Your hairline is perfect. Anyone who says otherwise is just jealous. Nah. House party. Rated R. Only in theaters January 13th. There is nothing hotter than real, honest-to-goodness love. Mama wanna tell you where it's at, I wanna get that. I was made for this. Get with it or get lost. You dropped the ball big time. I'm throwing y'all my very own Miami Yacht Park. It just shook up all of the dynamics. Y'all ready for this? To Beth for telling us about Peptiva Nighttime Probiotics. To, to Beth. Beth! Welcome, ladies. You know, the best thing about Peptiva is that I can digest food like a kid again. No, the best thing is that I get to sleep like a kid again. Digestion. Digestion. Ladies! With Peptiva, you get both. Peptiva is the first doctor-formulated probiotic that works at night with key ingredients backed by seven clinical studies. And right now, you can get a complimentary sample by texting BANK to 321321. Peptiva works while you sleep to soothe indigestion, cramping, bloating, even constipation, while promoting digestive health. And it has time-released melatonin to help you get the best sleep of your life. Okay, girls, what do we have next week? Tacos? Wings? Chili! <laughs> Peptiva is flying off the shelves at GNC, but you can only get your complimentary sample by texting BANK to 321321. Text now, and we'll include a box of Peptiva digestive enzymes to help your body digest meals and avoid occasional gas and discomfort absolutely free. That's B-A-N-K to 321321. People gonna talk in D.C. Yeah! They're claiming the Samuels are looking to divorce. Him and his dad are not speaking. Wait, 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 wait. 
welcome. We're going to be out on our own little island. It's called peace. I'm going to go before I whip your ass. Her sisterhood just went out the window. I'm back. Then all of them. Because I don't talk like that again and again and again. Love and Marriage DC returns Saturday, January 21st at 8, 7 Central. This is your chance. You keep her alive. Say her, you can say her. come this far and you know it's out there you have a greater purpose than any of us could have ever imagined something about the playboy brand had a little bit more of a mystique to it it's a ticket to the highlight Love can we prepare you for that? The Playboy Murders, all new series, Monday, January 23rd at 10 on ID. Tia does have a weird sexual infatuation with her father. One time she said some very ugly, nasty things to me. She bent over in front of me and, and in front of a lot of her friends and just told me, just go on me daddy right here just going me right here the guys were like did that really happen oh my god i have no idea why she did that hurt me terribly well jimmy is worried about his daughter tia who makes up terrible lies about him and his wife donnie tia says if her family doesn't want to own up to the horrible things they've done to her she's done with them take a look it totally is my family's mission to make me look crazy. I call Donna a uh, step monster. She is pure evil. My step monster is the ringleader in all this. She's constantly lying. My father has always been abusive. He likes putting his hands around my throat. He would hold me on a wall and slide me up the wall. My father is abusive still. He always calls me crazy fat bitch, mental, retarded. My father is and was alcoholic and addict. He's been addicted to marijuana, cocaine, pills, sedatives. My father and I have used cocaine together. 2015 was probably the last year that he and I used together. When I was younger, he definitely looked at me like I was the epitome of sexy. I grew up in bars with my father. At 15, we were at an Irish pub. He grabbed me. He leaned in for a French kiss, and I knew it was an inappropriate kiss, so I pushed him away. I know for a fact my phone has been hacked. It's a modification of text messages, voicemails not being sent, not being able to dial out on my phone. About two and a half years ago, my house was broken into by a client's husband. I was able to kick him out. He was trying to harm me. He installed a whole computer, like a whole desktop computer in my home while I was sleeping to watch me. They had webcams on it. I did press charges against him. The police just think that I'm crazy and they do not help me. And everybody says the same things to me. It sounds like I'm crazy, I know. Okay, it's good to meet you. Very good to meet you too. Uh, what is your hope to achieve today in your dynamic with these people? My father, necessarily, the things that I have spoke about on the film, I don't mind if he doesn't remember those things or if he was intoxicated at the time. I've already forgiven mm -hmm. him, whoops, sorry, for those things. But as far as Donna, I would like for her to um, admit the reports of the abuse. It needs to come out, Donna. You need to be honest. It's hurting us. Okay, and, and what is it that she's specifically failing to be honest about? Um, she has told the doctor, um, the doctors when I was actually in the hospital with a major head injury that I basically did it to myself mm -hmm. um, and that I had never reported any abuse from the person who was abusing me. Since the truth cannot come out of their mouths, my son, mm. my beautiful baby, mm -hmm now sees things in their vision. So you think he's been... Brainwashed. You said you had a major head injury, mm -hmm. and the medical report says that the patient's injury pattern appears to be a minor injury mm -hmm. versus a concussion okay. without other structural uh, 
abnormalities. As such, we consider this patient medically cleared. Okay. Mm -hmm. All I know is my head was pulled, I was pulled down into a wall so hard my head swelled. Mm -hmm. I woke up almost seven hours later in the same spot. I'm just telling you what it says. Yeah, no, I wasn't that's there. Fine. I'm just that's telling you what fine. it says. Gina is your mother, correct? Correct. And you feel like she virtually stole your son. I do, absolutely. There's a social worker assessment mm -hmm. uh, that was done okay. at the time. And it says, I am asked by the psychiatry staff to make a Department of Child Services referral mm -hmm. because Tia has been apparently buying multiple types of drugs on the street mm -hmm. from benzodiazepines mm -hmm. to amphetamines. Mm -hmm. Uh, has been acting erratically and irrationally mm -hmm. and has made both suicidal and homicidal comments. Mm -hmm. She has an 11-year-old son, Dylan, whose staff is told has on more than one occasion contacted one or more grandparents stating that he fears what his mother will do next. Okay. Yes, I have for sure bought street drugs in my life. So I'm very open and honest about those things. When it says um, been acting erratically and irrationally, um, and making suicidal and homicidal comments. Absolutely not. Had Gina not stepped in at that point mm -hmm. to take your son, mm -hmm. her grandson, Correct. he would have been in foster care that right. night. And I do, I do respect her and appreciate the fact that she's the one that stepped up versus DCS for sure. All right, coming up, Tia says her mom is a backstabber and a kidnapper. Well, we'll talk about that after the break. Last time I saw Tia, she verbally attacked me and really scared me. I am afraid of Tia. Closed captioning provided by... All these young, untimely deaths. For your kid, fame can be poisonous. He shared with me something. Oh, I hesitate to even say it. The Price of Glee, three-part limited series, Monday, January 16th at 9 on ID. Get over here now. There is nothing hotter than real, honest to goodness love. Mama wanna tell you where it's at. I wanna get that. I was made for this. Get with it or get lost. You dropped the ball big time. I'm throwing y'all my very own Miami yacht part. It just shook up all of the dynamics. Y'all ready for this? People gonna talk in DC. They're claiming the Samuels are looking to divorce. Him and his dad are not speaking. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Welcome. We're going to be out on our own little island. It's called Peace. I'm going to go before I whip your ass. The sisterhood just went out the window. I'm back. And oh, man. Because I haven't talked again and again and again. Love and Marriage DC returns Saturday, January 21st at 8, 7 Central. Our worth is not given. It must be made. This is your chance. I would bet shot. Surprise! This is gonna be one of the best days of my life! I kneel before no one. Awesome. Thousand Pound Best Friends returns. The four of us have a different perspective of the world than thinner people. Have you been following the program like you're supposed to? You have to lose weight or you're gonna die. I'm done! Thousand Pound Best Friends, Wednesday at 10 on TLC. I think it's my time to find love. I, I want to date younger men. I'm as sexual as I was in my teens. Turn it up. Where's all the men at? Here we go. It just got real. Turn it up now. Next Monday. I've never done anything like this in my life. It is about living very basic. No pizza, no food. 
Hollywood. Pretty much. David and Annie and Lauren and Alexi. After the 90 Days, next Monday at 10 on TLC. Something about the Playboy brand had a little bit more of a mystique to it. It's a ticket to the highlight. Love can we prepare you for that. The Playboy Murders, all new series, Monday, January 23rd at 10 on ID. My mother taking my child away is the reason I'm here. My mother is completely a backstabber. There's no reason I shouldn't have that sweet baby. I was a great mother. Oh my God, I miss him so much. I'm here to confront my family and to get my child back. Tia's mom, Gina, has been taking care of her grandson because she says her daughter's thoughts are not always rooted in reality. Let's hear from Gina. Tia hates me because I have custody of her son. The truth is, she let him go. On a scale of one to 10, Tia's parenting skills are at level zero. Somebody had to step in and save her son. Tia tells me that I have brainwashed her son to keep him from her. No, I haven't brainwashed him. Dylan has known what was going on with his mother because he lived it. Tia has told her son things that a child should never be told. She told him recently that she had had three abortions in the past, which really bothered him. Child should never hear that about his mother. I believe Tia has anger issues. Tia stabbed her ex in the arm with a screwdriver while he was driving the car. The last time I saw her, she verbally attacked me and really scared me. I am afraid of Tia. My husband and I moved across country to get away from the drama. I am determined to protect my grandson from Tia. Gina, thank you for being here. I really appreciate you taking the time and effort and energy to do this. Tia said something uh, on the tape. She said, I'm here for one reason, that's to get my son back. And she refers to you as pretty much hijacking the situation and kidnapping her son. But she also says that she is appreciative of the fact that you were there. Uh, but at what point did it go from appreciation to resentment? Um, well, I'd say length of time is because um, she, I mean, right after, right after she took him from the for the temporary thing, she uh, just portrayed herself to still be my best friend, and she's told me that she was taking him um, for a while to help me get back on my feet from leaving the abuse. Mm -hmm. So I was manipulated into thinking that she was helping me for a different reason. I'm not a zero parent. That is horrible. I was sober for 18 months, and the woman still kept that child from me. If I'm sitting at home saying I'm suicidal because I want to see my child so bad, help me. Well, let me weigh in here, because if, if you are saying that you are suicidal and you're agitated, I absolutely do not recommend that you talk to your son. That is not, well. that's not okay, because you're, you, you cannot burden your son with that at all. If you're going to talk to your son, you need to do so from a position of strength, stability, and calmness. And Correct. the emotional blackmail is not the way to go about it. What is your position on her seeing the child? I've never told him he couldn't see her. I've always told him if he wanted to see her, that was his choice, and especially now that he's 15. When DCS contacted me when you were in the hospital, I got emergency custody in the beginning. And when Tia was released, I do recall her saying that it's probably best that he stayed with me right then while she was trying to get back on her feet and everything. We went to court several times between May of 2015 and October 5th and the judge had wanted Tia to show that she could be a good parent and take care of Dylan, and every time we went to court, the judge had to say, well, we're not really seeing anything any different. Let's come back in six weeks or whatever. And finally, on October 5th, my attorney came out, sat down next to me and said, the judge has given you full custody. Tia has no rights. And I cried, and I said, she's gonna hate me for the rest of her life, and she does and I've never kept him from you. Yes, you have. I protect him. 
Do you okay. protect him? Do I you know how he treats me? Do you know how disrespectful that child is? We're going to take a break and find out what Tia's son has to say about his mom, because he's given us a statement, and we'll hear, we'll hear that when we come back. I worry about my mom because she could end up dead or in prison because of the actions that she's taken. I definitely believe that my mother has made up some things that are not true. I for sure think she needs help. Closed captioning provided by... This is your chance. You keep her alive. Say her, you can say her. come this far and you know it's out there you have a greater purpose than any of us could have ever imagined there is nothing hotter than real honest to goodness love mama wanna tell you where it's at I wanna get that I was made for this get with it or get lost you dropped the ball big time. I'm throwing y'all my very own Miami Yacht Park. It just shook up all of the dynamics. Y'all ready for this? People gonna talk in D.C. Yeah! Yo, we coming. They're claiming the Samuels are looking to divorce. Him and his dad are not speaking. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Welcome. We're going to be out on our own little island called Peace. I'm going to go before I whip your ass. sisterhood just went out the window. I'm back. Then all of them. Because I don't talk again and again and again. Love and Marriage DC returns Saturday, January 21st at 8, 7 central. To Beth for telling us about Peptiva Nighttime Probiotics. To Beth. Beth. Welcome, ladies. You know, the best thing about Peptiva is that I can digest food like a kid again. No, the best thing is that I get to sleep like a kid again. Digestion. Digestion. Ladies, with Peptiva, you get both. Peptiva is the first doctor-formulated probiotic that works at night with key ingredients backed by seven clinical studies. And right now, you can get a complimentary sample by texting CUBE to 369369. Peptiva works while you sleep to soothe indigestion, cramping, bloating, even constipation while promoting digestive health. And it has time-released melatonin to help you get the best sleep of your life. Okay, girls, what do we have next week? Tacos. Wings. Chili. <laughs> Peptiva is flying off the shelves at GNC, but you can only get your complimentary sample by texting CUBE to 369369. Text now and we'll include a box of Peptiva digestive enzymes to help your body digest meals and avoid occasional gas and discomfort absolutely free. That's C-U-B-E to 369369. Our worth is not given. It must be made. This is your chance. Our best shot. Surprise! This is going to be one of the best days of my life! I kneel before no one. I can't believe we're cleaning LeBron's place. LeBron who? James! How about we throw the party in the King's house? Hi! It's a white man. Oh, man, we going to jail, Is LeBron home? I was hoping to show him something. Yo, oh, man, yeah. whoa. Sign my jurors. He got a hologram of himself. Your hairline is perfect. Anyone who says otherwise is just jealous. Nah. House Party. Rated R. Only in theaters January 13th. Something about the Playboy brand had a little bit more of a mystique to it. It's a ticket to the highlight. What can you prepare you for? The Playboy Murders, all new series, Monday, January 23rd at 10 on ID. Well, Jimmy and the family are all worried about Tia's aggressive behavior and do not want her around her son when she's in that particular state. Now, Tia says, look, her family is brainwashing her son against her. I'm living with my grandmother because it's not a stable environment to be living with my mom. I would say that I felt unsafe. 
you could obviously tell there was like drugs involved because she was never there. I worry about my mom because she could end up dead or in prison because of the actions that she's taken. I definitely believe that my mother has made up some things that are not true. For instance, a few years back, she said that she saw three babies on the side of the road that were dead and they had their mouths zipped up. That's definitely like one of the things that you can tell aren't true. I for sure think she needs help. I don't want to sit with my grandma. Your son seems to think that you sometimes get really agitated and aggressive with him. Is that true? I used to. I used to. I've learned how to control my anger quite a bit in the last three and a half years. I've gone to lots of classes just to make sure that I was under control as much as possible. But I was not a bad mother. I was a very good mother. And the things that come out of his mouth are not true. Here's a statement from Tia's son. He says, and I quote, I feel like my mom is not in her right mind. You can definitely tell there are some mental issues. I tried to see her a couple of weeks ago. I felt like there were some drugs involved with her actions. She was acting very aggressive towards me. She would be yelling at the top of her lungs. I can't believe you did this to me. Now, that was, he said, that's a couple of weeks ago. Right. Were you yelling at him at the top of your lungs? Absolutely of, not. So he's lying. Yes, he is. You had spent some time with Melanie, right? Mm hmm I spent like a couple of days with her prior to Dylan being there. And you're, you're Melanie, right? Yeah. What happened on August 18th? She made the comment that she had no hope left. And she said that she wanted to kill her daddy, her mama, Donna, Aisha, and herself. So I made the executive decision to go to the magistrate in North Carolina and do involuntary commitment. And she was taken to a facility. She started talking about killing her entire family. Yes, sir. I had made probably comments about them two women, never about this man nor my sister. I have never spoke of murdering, killing either one of those people. What I said was some bad things that I would want to take her out and take myself out. But that's like under my breath. I'm like, God, I just want to kill her and then kill myself. Things like that. I've lost my whole family, you guys. Lost everybody. I have no one. You pushed us away. As I look around, I see a lot of people here. Mm -hmm. You say you've lost them, but I see her here, I see her here, I see her here, I see, I see a lot of people that are here. But what reasons are they here for? I know why they're here. What reasons are they here for? They're yeah. here for you. I am not this horrible person they're making me out to be. I'm not. I'm a good person. Well, coming up, Jimmy says he's always been on his daughter's side, and he just wants Tia to live in reality. We're going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about what I think needs to happen here to pave a road to her being back in her son's life in a constructive, healthy, nurturing way. We'll be right back. Teams of culinary warriors battle on an NFL team's home turf. Who will be the beast of the feast? Oh my God! Series kickoff, NFL tailgate takedown, Wednesday night at 9 on Food Network. Set your DVR. All these young, untimely deaths. For your kid, fame can be poisonous. He shared with me something. Oh, I hesitate to even say it. The Price of Glue Part Limited Series, Monday, January 16th at 9 on ID. Next Monday, I've never done anything like this in my life. It is about living very basic. No pizza, no food. Pretty much. David and Annie and Lauren and Alexi. After the 90 days, next Monday at 10 on TLC. Johan and I are supposed to get married tomorrow, and I'm feeling really uneasy. Yo no sé qué es tu intención. Si tú tienes tu duda, no te case. 90 Day Fiance, Love in Paradise, next Monday at 8 on TLC. You need to get over here now. Save the chocolate, baby.
Thousand Pound Best Friends returns. The four of us have a different perspective of the world than thinner people. Have you been following the program like you're supposed to? You have to lose weight or you're going to die. I'm done. Thousand Pound Best Friends, Wednesday at 10 on TLC. This is your chance. You keep her alive. Say her, you can say her. come this far and you know it's out there you have a greater purpose than any of us could have ever imagined people gonna talk in dc they're claiming the samuels are looking to divorce him and his dad are not speaking wait wait wait, wait, wait. Welcome. We're going to be out on our own little island. It's called peace. I'm going to go before I whip your ass. Her sisterhood just went out the window. I'm back. Then all of them. Because I've been talking again and again and again. Love and Marriage DC returns Saturday, January 21st at 8, 7 Central. Our worth is not given. It must be made. This is your chance. Our best shot. Surprise! This is gonna be one of the best days of my life! I kneel before no one. Awesome. There is nothing hotter than real, honest to goodness love. Mama wanna tell you where it's at, I wanna get that. I was made for this. Get with it or get lost. You dropped the ball big time. I'm throwing y'all my very own Miami Yacht Park. It just shook up all of the dynamics. Y'all ready for this? I'm going to tell you what I think and you can embrace it or not. I think that there are some things that you don't understand. I told your dad that I thought he was way underestimating the impact of what has gone on here. You started doing drugs at a time when your brain was in a formative phase. You kept doing them for a long period of time. And we don't really know what's going on because your brain hasn't been clear since you were 13 years old. It has to be cleaned up and cleared up. And I, I haven't really met you because your brain is toxic. It has to be detoxed. And that's not just a rehab kind of thing. Your brain has to be detoxed. Then there has to be a brain scan done to figure out what parts of your brain have gone dark, what parts of your brain are overactive. And I think once that is understood and we approach this from a neurological standpoint, I think in a very short period of time, I think the world could look astoundingly different to you. And then I want a chance to start rebuilding your relationship with your son because he needs his mother in his life. Trust me, she did not intend to be raising a 15-year-old kid at her age. She wants to go watch Dr. Phil in the afternoon. Um, she wants a break. He needs to be with his mom. Yes, I, you, I guys need, you guys need to be having fun. You need right. to be laughing and having a good time. Like we used to. Exactly. And that's what I want you to do. But you can't do that when one minute you're fine, the next minute you're saying, I want to kill my family. But we can smooth that out. This is Dr. Caligi right here. He is the founder and executive director of Creative Care. Uh, to his left is the clinical director, Dr. Dina Mannion. Now, I've known these guys for years. And the, let me tell you, they are the best of the best at what I'm talking about. And they have facilities out in Malibu. I mean, look at them. Oh, come on. They're beautiful facilities out there. And they work with people on a one-on-one -on -one basis. They bring in experts, including the chairman of the Dr. Phil Advisory Board, Dr. Frank Lawless, who works with these brain functions that I'm talking about. 
I want to start and do an evaluation of you and one time find out for real what's truly going on with you and give you some answers. Forget everything else, start fresh. And so I want you to go and spend some time with them. Then I want to start immediately working to try and rebuild this relationship with your son so he feels safe, you feel safe, you feel safe, and put this back together. Okay, well, I'll do whatever it takes. Will you do that? Okay. Let's do this together, okay? Thank you. All right. Coming up, a retired teacher wants to get educated on ways to look her absolute best. We're going to meet her next. Closed captioning provided by... Something about the Playboy brand had a little bit more of a mystique to it. It's a ticket to the highlight. Love can you prepare you for The Playboy Murders, all new series, Monday, January 23rd at 10 on ID. Are you ready to tailgate? Two teams of culinary warriors battle on an NFL team's home turf. Who will be the beast of the feast? Oh my God! Series kickoff, NFL tailgate takedown, Wednesday night at 9 on Hulu Network. Set your DVR. I think it's my time to find love. I want to date younger men. I'm as sexual as I was in my teens. Where's all the men at? Here we go. It just got real. Turn it up now. Next Monday, I've never done anything like this in my life. It is about living very basic. No pizza, no food. Pretty much. David and Annie and Lauren and Alexi. After the 90 days, next Monday at 10 on TLC. All these young, untimely deaths. For your kid, fame can be poisonous. He shared with me something. Oh, I hesitate to even say it. The Price of Glee, three-part limited series, Monday, January 16th at 9 on ID. You need to get over here now. Save this shot for me. I can't believe we're cleaning LeBron's place. LeBron who? James! How about we throw the party in the King's house? Hi! It's a white man. Oh, man, we doing a gym, gym. Is LeBron home? I was hoping to show him something. Yo, oh, man, yeah. whoa. Sign my jurors. He got a hologram of himself. Your hairline is perfect. Anyone who says otherwise is just jealous. Nah. House party. Rated R. Only in theaters January 13th. This is your chance. You keep her alive. Save her, you can save her. You come this far, and you know what's out there. You have a greater purpose than any of us could have ever imagined. People gonna talk in DC. They're claiming the Samuels are looking to divorce. Him and his dad are not speaking. Wait, 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 wait. Welcome. We're gonna be out on our own little island. It's called Peace. I'm gonna go before I whip your ass. Sisterhood just went out the window. I'm back. Then all of them. Again and again and again. Love and Marriage DC returns Saturday, January 21st at 8, 7 Central. My next guest, Candy, was an elementary school teacher for 35 years. Now, she loved her job, but she also loves her new status in life, retired. Now, Candy says at 65 years old, she finally has time to do exactly what she wants, and she wants to look good while doing it. I decided to retire, and now that I've stopped teaching, I don't want to slow down. I would love to stay as youthful as I possibly can inside and out. Living in California, I love the outdoors, and I'm sure it's taken a toll on my skin. I'm definitely paying for the younger years and trying to get as tan as you can. When I look in the mirror, I see dark spots, really deep wrinkle between my eyes, my neck sagging. I've been married to my husband, JP, for 35 years. We are in the go-go phase of our lives, and we really want to travel. So to kick off retirement, we're going to go to South Africa. I'm really hoping to get that youthful glow back, and I want to look my best, feel young, and really enjoy this adventure. 
Well, Candy is joining me along with dermatologist and spokesperson for the beauty brand number seven, Dr. Sonia Batra. So welcome, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so Candy, as an elementary school teacher for 35 years, you should be commended. Uh, I always say teachers do not get the credit they deserve. So I'm a great admirer of teachers. So God bless you for what you do. Thank you. Um, Thank you. What was the best part of teaching for you? I loved working with kids who struggled with reading. Just yeah. loved it. Well, after more than three decades teaching, what made you finally decide to hang it up? It was a really tough decision, and it was time. For some people, especially after a long career, it's hard to relax, and it's a great time to get new activities, start new hobbies. And now that you do have more time, What's the main thing you want to focus on? I lived in California from when I was 16, in the sun a lot, yeah. a lot of wrinkles. Oh my gosh, my neck is starting to sag. Um, I don't want turkey neck. I suppose that's not a good thing. Uh, so you've been married for 35 years, right? Yes. To JP, JP, how are you doing? Oh, good. So what, what are your thoughts on Candy's worries about her skin? I don't see anything wrong with her, her face or her neck. To me, she's, she's still the most beautiful woman I married and as gorgeous as when I saw her in college. Yeah. Well, while he may not see your wrinkles, you say you see them whenever you look in the mirror. Mm -hmm. So, Dr. Botrick, as a dermatologist, can you educate her on her skincare concerns. Well, absolutely. Now, with respect to the skin, it's absolutely true that long-term exposure to the sun can cause all sorts of skin issues, especially loss of elasticity and wrinkles. Now, tell me, in all those years of enjoying the sun, did you use sunscreen? Oh, my gosh. I started using baby oil, like a lot of people my yeah. age. Um, but, but I do use sunscreen now. I'm so glad you're using the sunscreen now. But let's see what we can do about all those days of the baby oil. And one thing you can do to keep your routine simple but make it super effective is to add a serum. So a serum is a powerhouse product that delivers concentrated ingredients directly into the skin. And looking at you, the one I would recommend is Number 7's Restore and Renew Face and Neck Serum. This serum delivers five clinically proven results, addressing those issues you mentioned, like visibly reducing the deep wrinkles and firming the skin on your face and neck, so you can really try to get rid of that turkey neck you were mentioning. So how does it work? And is, I mean, turkey neck a technical term? I mean, is that <laughs> Well, it's a term people use to describe the wrinkling and the sagging and the crepey feel of your skin. Yeah. Now, what makes the serum so effective is actually an added complex of ingredients that boost skin strength and help restore a younger appearance to the skin. So if you actually take a look, we have some before afters. These are people who actually use the serum. And I think you can see the results actually speak for themselves. Yeah. That's addressing the technical turkey neck, Dr. Phil. Yeah. So, but Candy, the great news is that if you start using the serum, you can expect to see visibly younger looking skin in as little as two weeks. Wow, that's, that's wonderful, because I really have been looking for something that'll be effective and work quickly. Yeah, and what I always tell my patients is skincare does not have to be expensive in order to be effective. You can find Number 7's Restore and Renew Face and Neck Serum for under $35 at Target. And in fact, if you buy it this week, you get a $5 Target gift card. Oh. Yeah, but Candy, don't worry. Number 7, the beauty brand, really wants to get you started, so they're giving you a year's supply of both the Restore and Renew Serum. That's amazing! As well as their new face cream. And, you know, I hope now that you are retired that you guys do find time to enjoy and travel like you were talking about earlier. And audience, let me tell you, you're not going to miss out because everyone is going home with your own number seven Restore and Renew skincare system. So, uh, I'd like to thank all of my guests today and a special thanks to Dr. Sonia Bacha. And if you have a story and you need my help, I'd love to hear from you. Just email me at drphil.com and just tell me all about it. Or if you'd like to be a part of our studio audience, the tickets are free. Just go to my website and click on Get Tickets, or you can call 323-461-PHIL. That's 323-461-7445. And be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. We'll see you next time.
Come save me and take me Take me to a better place I'm ready if you're ready Take my hand, let's get away You make me leave the past behind You make me feel alive Ain't nothing we can do tonight Let's have the time of our lives Ain't it easy, say you'll never leave me But my heart in a box never let go Ain't it easy, say you'll never I got you, you and me against the world I'm ready, if you're ready Let me be your only girl You make me leave the past behind You make me feel alive Ain't nothing we can do tonight Let's have the time